will discuss about the design of tension members here is the very basic problem determine the design tensile strength of the plate 130 by uh, 12 mm with the holes of 16 mm diameter bolts as shown in the figure steel uh, used as AP410 grade so here you need to design uh, determine the design tensile strength that means you have a plate of 130 by 12 mm uh, with this 130 and thickness of that is uh, thickness of the plate is 12 mm you need to find out the what is the tensile strength of the plate okay how much is the tensile strength of the plate if the arrangement is like this okay if you if you see here you have four number of bars okay so now here you have four number of bars here uh, the edge distance they have given us 35 and the pitch they have given us 60 and the width of the plate is 130 got it the width of the plate is 130 so now you need to find out what is the tensile strength of this particular arrangement so strength of the plate is nothing but you need to find out the yield strength of the plate and you need to find out the rupture of the plate and also you need to find out the block shear got it so now here is the uh, whatever you need to first basically you need to find out the uh, yield strength you need to find out the rupture capacity and you need to find out the block shear of the particular section okay whichever if you find out all this whichever the value which is least that will be the strength of the plate so if you open your code books in page number 32 here you have the clause uh, 6.2 right so the design strength due to the yielding of the gross section that means you this is the this formula will give you what is the uh, strength of the plate in the yielding okay so now tdg is equal to ag fy divided by gamma m naught so this is in the page number 32 of is 800 okay so tdg is equal to ag fy divided by gamma m naught where fy will be the yield strength ag will be the gross area of this cross section and gamma m naught will be the partial safety factor area into yield stress uh, yield stress then divided by gamma m naught the partial safety factor that will give you what is the yielding strength okay just now we saw no it is in page number 32 so tdg is equal to ag fy divided by gamma m naught so area asia is a cross area that is overall area how much what is the dimension of the plate it is 130 and the thickness is 12 mm 130 by 12 you will get it as 156 mm square and fy is 250 250 is an assumption okay so gamma m naught it is 1.1 gamma m naught will be 1.1 and gamma m1 will be 1.25 this you have already used in your previous modules same thing you can write it here okay ag fy and gamma m naught everything we know substitute in the equation tdg you will get to the e uh, value so the conclusion is you uh, this particular area okay with the yield strength of 250 it can take up 354.54 kilonewtons okay in the yielding now again go back to your code book page number 32 so here in the clause 6.3 design st strength due to the rupture of a critical section so tdn is equal to 0.9 an fu divided by gamma m1 so it is in page number 32 okay it is in is 800 page number 32 so tdn is equal to 0.9 a a n f uh, u divided by gamma m1 so this will be the equation to find out the strength in the rupture this is for the plate the equation is for the plate and now we are designing also for the plate right so you need to use this equation okay so now we'll uh, we'll solve this now dia of the bolt hole is equal to 16 mm diameter or uh, it is given in the question itself diameter of the uh, uh, bolt is 16 mm it is given here diameter of it is 16 mm okay 
so that means what is d not the clearance you need to uh, add up here right so clearance is how much 2 because it is 16 mm the clearance you need to add up as 2 that is equal to 18 mm so that will give you d not diameter of the bolt hole now next critical section is having two number of bolts see just observe here I have given in the dotted lines, I have written in the dotted lines, right? So now, uh, in the dotted lines means, see here, this will be the block shear, that is separate, I will tell you how it is. So now, I have given one more in the dotted line here. It may be this side also or this side also. The load is applied like this. If it is rupturing, it will be perpendicular to the load applied. The load applied is in this direction. Rupture will be in this direction got it rupture will always be perpendicular to the load applied got it so now this will be the critical section i'll take this as critical section you can also take this one nothing uh, nothing wrong in that but you need to take the corner one suppose if you have three number of uh, bolts here okay you need to take the end bolts okay so now in the critical section how many number of bolts we have we have two number of bolts in a section critical section we have two number of bolts here right so now how many uh, so n will be two here so in a critical particular critical section number of bolts will be two so come back here so here in a critical section just now i told you it is two number of bolts we have so f u is given uh, given as 410 in this is in the given it is a given uh, uh, value in the question it is given okay a n okay so now here this was the equation 0.9 a n a f u divided by gamma m 1 so what is a n here you need to find out what is a n here okay so now this equation is in your code book itself just look here gamma m 1 will be partial safety factor f u will be ultimate strength of the material that is given in 1 this will be gamma m 1 will be 1.25 next a n a n is equal to net area of the member as given by so we need to go for page number 33 next page okay this is in page number 33 a n is equal to b minus okay b minus n times of d h d h is nothing but diameter of the bolt hole okay 2 mm in addition of the diameter hole in the case uh, in case of direct punched holes in the rivet you need to add 2 mm but also but uh, it, you need to add the d uh, clearance here okay you have already familiar with this with the d not in your bolt design of bolted connection okay b minus n times of d not is equal to sigma p divided by 4 times of g i into t so this you will get it when you have the staggered connection staggering is nothing but uh, it is it you will have it is in the different uh, uh, it will not be in the same straight line it will be staggered okay in such conditions you will have to use this so now we are not using the staggered connection right it is a normal one so this whole thing will become zero got it this whole thing will become zero so i have not taken this so b minus n times of d naught into t so that i have taken here got it so this equation is the, we have written here okay now we'll start b minus n times of d naught into t so what is b 130 minus what how many number of uh, bolt uh, we uh, we have in a critical section we have two number of bolts into 18 18 is the d naught value okay so into t what is the thickness of the plate 12 mm so substitute this you will get it as 1128 mm okay next we got the area here now we'll substitute in tdn tdn is equal to 0 0.9 an f u divided by gamma m1 so 0.9 into what is an we already found out what is a n right so that into f u is 410 divided by 1.25 so that you will got you got it as 332.98 so this is what the strength of the plate for the rupture 
got it okay so now i i'll take a small paper and consider this as a small plate got it so now here you have four number of bolt holes okay so the width of this width of this is 130 and the thickness of the plate is uh, 12 mm so now here okay so now here the distance between these two is pitch right so this distance is 60 okay from here to here from one bolt hole to the next bolt hole is 60 so now from here till the edge distance i will take it as 35 or it is given in the question okay so this is uh, 35 this will be 60 so now from here till here that means from the end of the plate till the next uh, bolt hole we call the, uh, i'll take this as an lv length lv is it clear so now from one bolt hole to the next adjacent perpendicular to the load applied i'll take this as an lt got it lt length lt is it clear so now these two plus these so this will become l v i'll take this as an lt got it see here the same thing so this distance from this to, uh, total i'll take it as an lb so this will i'll take it as an lt okay so it is mentioned in the question 35 and 60 okay pitch distance and edge distance so now if you go back to your page number 33 in the is 800 look here the design strength due to the block shear okay this is in page number 33 so you have the you are using the bolted connection here right so you need to use these two equations so now tdb is equal to a avg fy divided by square root of 3 into gamma m not you can see this equation right and also you have two equations so or they have mentioned it as an or so to find out the uh, block shear the strength of the plate in the block shear you have two equations in this whichever is least that will be the uh, tdb value am i clear whichever is least in these two that will be the tdb value so that will be the strength of the plate in the block shear okay so to find out all that firstly we need to find out what is areas gross areas and net area okay AVG, AVG is equal to LV into T. Got it? So AVG, I'll take it as LV into T. Area, okay? Area of gross area in a parallel to the load applied. Okay? So area which is parallel to the load applied means you have two sections here, right? One is this section and another one is this section. Because it is poles are laid in the two layers. Okay? So AV into T. got it so now into 2 by have multiplied is this is one section and this is another section so two layers two times into so what is lv so this from here to here it's 35 plus 60 so i will get this distance 35 plus 60 into what is t thickness of the plate is how much 12 mm so how much you will get 2 to 8 uh, 0 mm square i think i am clear with this next i'll find out the net area now okay avn avn is equal to lv minus n times of d not into t got it so what is lv 35 35 plus 60 so that is lv right minus n times of d not d not you know 18 t you know it is um, 12 and i by multiplied by 2 this is two layers you have so it is 2 what is n 1.2 okay see here you have a plate like this right so i will apply the load in the both the direction of per uh, pa uh, parallelly like this right so what happens to this plate now it will come or it will block it will fail like this right so what happens now this is what this failure we call it as a block shear got it this failure we call it as a block shear how it has failed it has failed to one bolt to the another bolt linking to the next bolt linking to the next bolt and also the edges it has failed it 
so this failure coming out this failure we call it as a block shear it is uh, failure is is like a block right so it is in block shear got it so now i have taken this distance as lv right so now how do you find out net area yes so in this totally i'll i'll have to multiply uh, mi minus the n times of d not okay okay so now this has blocked in this is this uh, is gone now right so now here you see so if i see it in the front view how does it look you have one bolt here and in this half half of the bolt has already gone right so one bolt plus another half of this has already gone out right so how much one plus one half so this one plus half okay so this uh here what this will be 1.5 1.5 so if you are confused see here this has gone right so if i consider this as a one bolt and how half of this it has come here right so so this is half one and half okay so if you are confused so much just take it just to go with the section in the front view so how many number of bolts you have one and the, in the edge you need to take the as and half so one and half okay so n will be one and half into t into two times means here one section here one section so it is two two okay so that is that you will get a area now we'll go to atg atg is nothing but length perpendicular to the load applied this okay so now atg is equal to lt into t uh, gross area gross area will be complete area lt this is lt is 60 into t is 12 so that you will get it as 720 mm square next we'll go to atn atn is nothing but lt minus n times of d not into t lt is how much so 60 right 60 minus n times of d not back here so now this i have taken it as an uh, one and this i we have to consider it is an half right so half we have left out here and half we have left out here so how many now one right half plus half we are considering in this direction half plus half total it is one n will be one so what is n here n will be 1 into 18 d d not into t so that you will get this one okay so now everything you got it in the equation substitute it atg uh, this first equation substitute everything you will get it as 350 so again atb is equal to you have these two equation and uh, substitute everything you will get it as uh, 441.77 so now in this you have four values right one is 441.77 another one is 350 and another uh, value is uh, 332 right and also you have for the uh, block uh, yield so for yielding how much we got 354.54 so in this which is least 332. Point 98 is the least one so the strength of the plate of the particular section is 332.98 so that is what is your conclusion is so i hope you understood this so you need to find out it for the block shear you need to find out it for the rupture you need to find out it for the yielding whichever is least in all the three will be the strength of the plate strength of the plate is 332.98 Okay so that is what is your conclusion is okay thank you